And we're here with Risa Pesfine, and we're talking about her, her study on sea otter nasal mites. Um, how did you get started, um, and what interested you in this, um, Risa? Well, um, I came to UC Davis because I was really interested in working in an environment where there's a diversity of veterinarians and epidemiologists um, and uh, people working in applied fields and collaborating with a lot of agency folks. And so um, we have a collaboration with the California Department of Fish and Wildlife and the Wildlife Health Center at UC Davis, um, which runs the Marine Wildlife Veterinary Care and Research Center. And a major goal of that project is to look at morbidity and mortality of southern sea otters. And we care about this because southern sea otters are a really important indicator species of um, ocean health, uh, specifically uh, marine mammal health along the coast. And they're a threatened population. And so while we care about the health of all of our marine mammals, in particular, we're very interested in finding out um, uh, health issues that contribute to population declines, specifically in species like the southern sea otter. Um, so uh, Melissa Miller, who is a uh, veterinary pathologist at the MWB CRC, uh, noted that she was seeing nasal pulmonary mites, which are nasal mites that are in the turbinates of sea otters, which is this area of the nose here, and also in their upper respiratory and lower respiratory system. And um, they can be there and not cause problems, but they can also contribute to um, degradation of the tissue in the nose and opening of the tissue to potential secondary infection. And so she was very interested in whether these nasal pulmonary mites are contributing to um, sublethal effects that are um, one among many things challenging southern sea otters. 